My name is Felton Madume. I'm a student in the Master of Nursing program here at the University of Minnesota. Between my two previous degrees, the biology and psychology, I found nursing to be the perfect marriage between the two. I felt like it would afford me the opportunity to be more available to help my patients. Mental health has always been my uh, passion. Growing up in that field, I've come to see that there's a, a shortage. And I think slowly people are catching on that mental health is very important. My name is Heidi and I am in my first semester of the Master of Nursing program here at the University of Minnesota. What got me interested in midwifery and nursing, when I was 16, my older sister had two kids under midwife care. It clicked for me at that time and over those years, wow, women's health and being a practitioner in this field and being a researcher in this field and an advocate is really what I was meant to do. From what I know about Elaine Mansfield, um, her legacy uh, speaks for itself. In reading about her and her journey and all her degrees, um, one thing that stood out to me was the sand bucket. You know, your bucket has to be full. If not, you can't take care of other people. And that kind of applies to us as nurses. Going into grad school, I was worried. I haven't had a job yet, really, to be able to build up a bunch of money. Putting the bill for any, any education nowadays is, is terrifying and, and rather impossible. So scholarships such as this is really allowing me to be the first in my family to pursue medicine. What fuels my passion about nursing is a field where you have several different careers within a nursing field. And I like that very much. Just like Elaine's story with the sand bucket, you need to fill yourself up and know about yourself and all of what you contain in your bucket so that you can give it out to other people. If you don't have that fulfillment, you can't offer what nurses have to offer. When you have the scholarship, um, it reduces that burden and gives you the opportunity to focus on your studies. And it also uh, puts things into perspective for you about how you can give back. What I'll say to Lane Mansfield is, of course, thank you so much for your gift. Um, and for your legacy, your story alone is an inspiration to, I mean, anyone that reads it. And I hope to be like you someday where I can keep giving even when I'm far gone.